Whew. Almost five minutes late. I should have waited another minute. We're usually five minutes late. Okay. The good news is I got some things out of the way, so I got some stuff up on the screen. We're about ready. Thanks to James for closing out the last spot. Literally in the last minutes. Okay, so. Let me get situated here. Let me get the video links shouted out here. Just to make sure everyone's aware that we're live. Oh good, the video seems to have the right title at least. Last time it didn't, and then people couldn't find it. It's one of those things that's easily overcome, but still. Post this guy out to Twitter real fast. There we go. Busy day today. Sales thread and everything else. Hey, John. Sold some cards today. Went and bought some boxes of hockey that I didn't even plan on buying today. That was fun. That was an interesting uh, development. I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me get the spot list, which I actually have to update and put James' name in there. What? Let's go. What's it doing? There we go. 140. This is our oldest uh, break that's not done yet. There are five or six breaks newer than this that have been completed already, so we try to do it a little faster than that, but this one took a while. So, if you remember, we broke two boxes of Goodwin Champions 2019, which is like two or three times as much as what we were doing before 2018. Uh, but it's got a lot more stuff in it. And unfortunately, um, so everyone said, yeah, we like this product, and not everyone, a few people. And so I said, well, I better buy more. You know, my problem is I have to buy... I always have this fear that the price is going to go up because it always does. So when I see that something like that is wanted, I try and jump on it as quickly as I can to get it shipped and everything. Uh, so what ended up happening though is that, uh, I'll update one more thing here. What ended up happening is I think I, I overestimated how much people wanted this at the price point. So it didn't sell very quick, it took a while. But it's done now, and we're here. Hey, Brian, hey, Rob, Robert. I don't know what they call you, Robert, Rob, or Bob. Uh, anyway, hey, Mark, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. Okay, what am I doing here? Right, nope, that wasn't it. Kristen, hey. Kristen's been waiting for this break. Okay. Let me get my list into random.org. Before I do that, uh, I just want to mention a couple breaks that we do still have open. Leaf Ultimate Draft, or Leaf Ultimate Baseball, that's a hit draft break. It's taken a little while to fill because there's four boxes, so there's 24 hits in that, 24 spots. Oh, we did phenomenal last time pulling... Among like five other monsters, we pulled an uh, Adley Rushman one of one autograph printing plate. Uh, and then there's the sticker collection basketball, and I created a discount deal so you can buy four spots and get a fifth free. That's not moving at all. If it doesn't move in the next day or so, I'm going to refund the spots that are bought, and I will open that myself, and then I'll. Um, make you guys look at all the stuff I pull from it. 
And then uh, the hockey I picked up today. The, oh, there's also the baseball combo that helps close out high tech, written word, and uh, whatchamacallit, and ultimate draft. And then um, hockey, I picked up CHL and ice, both uh, this year's hockey. So those are pretty cheap breaks. They're already selling okay. And uh, so we'll get those filled hopefully by Friday. Friday, I have a case of CHL and 2017 18. CHL prospects both are fire uh, so we'll get those all filled out but in the meantime I found these when I was uh, I realized not realized someone told me today there's a sports card show within walking distance of my house within walking distance it's been there for over 10 years I've lived here for five years probably five or almost six years in this house and I have not I did not know about it anyway I went I went there to collect some supplies because I heard they have supplies it's, I got a new dealer I've, I heard he's holding anyway um, so I went there to go pick up supplies and I found the supplies I wanted and then I saw the hockey and I said why why should we wait till Friday to do a hockey break everyone's been waiting for me to refill hockey so let's just do it Okay, so that's the story. Uh, that's the stuff on the site. Please do check it out. Love to get those breaks full. Have a nice full Friday of breaking. <clears throat> I cannot break every night. Um, even if I wanted to do that, my wife wouldn't want me to do that. So, especially if I'm just doing one break a night. I, I'd rather fill up three or four breaks in a night and do it two or three times a week would be my preference. Uh, I will accommodate though like if there's something like this that's been waiting a while to fill I'll do whatever I can to make sure it once it's full I have a break that night and I told Chris I was gonna do whatever I could to get it to break tonight so uh, all right so this is CW140 we're on 154 now if that tells you something usually we don't go up that quickly it's been a couple weeks so we will have a trade window at, at uh, the conclusion of the random. Just in case anyone wants to trade for certain spots. Uh, the map, I forget what it's called, Parks and Maps spot, uh, is something that I'm told, who was it, said he will trade for that. I'll have to go back and look. Uh, anyway, here's our list. Uh, these asterisks are from minis, I think. Our verification code, they make these so easy to pronounce. Zephyr. There's a, a sigh at the end. Zephyr. Uh, anyway, it's Z-F-F-R-R-H, just like you normally spell that. copy this list I'll put it in my spreadsheet in case there's no trades if there is I'll just paste it in here again after uh, and I may need to mess with the font on um, on screen here for you so because I we had 60 teams in the last break and it was I was meddling with that a little bit so let's cl close the browser you can look at Keston here for a minute while I do that so happy about that card. That card was in a um, a mini, not a mini. Uh, Raz. Oh, really? Why did I just copy that? Hold on. I'm gonna go grab my list again. I hit copy instead of paste. Amateur move. Anyway, I love that card. I won't part with it unless I have to. But it's possible I could. It's possible I'll have to part with it. Uh, that's the names. That's not the team. The spots. Hold on. We'll just leave that there for a second, and we'll put these over here. Okay. Give me one sec. Let me clean this up. Let me grab these guys. Do 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 do. Okay. Left side, that. 
I left all the uh, left all the soccer hits in there in the hit, hit display. Uh, let me fix this font size. This is pretty stupid. Stupid font size. We're going back to twenty-two. <clears throat> Right, okay, okay. I need to move that over. So much to do here. All right, let's move you over. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. There it is. Uh, we'll let a little bit over overlap, I guess. Move this one over. Let me get everything lined up one second. I forgot to fix this afterwards. I've, and then we have another break. One of those hockey breaks has 59 teams in it, so I'm going to have to fix all this again. Uh, that looks right. Good enough. It's legible, right? Legible is our uh, barrier to entry for this break. Okay, so trades are open. I'm going to type that on this screen thingy. Okay, before I forget, I've got so many notifications on my phone. I'm just going to swipe all of them away. Okay, cool. I have no idea what was on my phone. Uh, so before I forget, we're doing the guessing game like normal. Um, so if you have, if you have an idea of, like, there's state flags in this, right? So you could guess a state that a state flag might come up. Like we got Indiana last time. Um, you could guess a tennis player. Uh, like Serena Williams. You could guess Tiger Woods. If we get a hit, or anything anything that they consider a hit, right? That we will consider a hit. So 3D lenticular, if you guess which one. Uh, if you guess an autograph or a relic of a certain person or whatever. Uh, space shuttle thing. I, I don't know. Any of that stuff, if you guess it, you'll get uh, Animal Kingdom. So I'm trying to remember from the checklist what's in an Animal Kingdom. Uh, hold on. I'll tell you in a second here. Checklist 2019. Where are you? Upper Deck Goodwin, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to pull it up right now so, you, so we can look together. Together we will we'll discover this real quick while we're waiting for trades. Oh, cool. I, I killed chat. Let's... Un unkill that one second I mean I killed it from my screen uh, masterpieces we're going to pull these up real quick you don't need to look at Kestin Hira right at this moment so I will my wife's out yelling at the cat I'm pretty sure the cat is up on a shelf or um, breaking or eating something. He's probably eating something. Okay, so can you see this? Yeah. All right. So here's a here's kind of a rundown of what's in it. So there's stuff like uh, J Love Hewitt Auto every time, every time. Even when I'm logged in, that pops up. Um, racing autographs. We pulled a racing autograph the other time. So there's stuff like this in there. Probably a pretty rare hit. Uh, yeah, genuine hero signatures. Um, I don't know what this one falls under. Exquisite. So, yeah, these are going to be a rare hit. If we hit one of these, I'm going to just buy a case of Goodwin Champions. Because we have to, right? Um, then these are incredible. Uh, presidential Legacy. That falls under the politics spot. These are the uh, Goodwin Masterpieces, Art of the Ages. Then there's the Grim Fairy Tales books. Hey, Bunk. If, if someone pulls the dragon, I'm going to probably want to buy that from you. Those are the... Um, that's Animal Kingdom. So, in the past we had the dogs, right? Kristen's pulled a few of those. In the past we've had the, the dogs that have... Uh, so you can pull like a, I don't know, poodle card or whatever. And they're manufactured patch, patches like this. 
the difference here is these are just all overall animal kingdoms and they're you know dragons and other real animals and dragons are real though don't don't let anyone tell you otherwise anyway uh this is the url i'm i'm going to for anyone who wants to look i'm going to paste this in the chat so that uh we can move on with it but uh I don't want to hold up the break to look at all this stuff, but I'll paste it. Catching up with chat a little bit real quick here. Did we have a trade? I see a, that would be amazing, but I missed the first part of it. Made from real poodles, probably not. Not so much. Anyway, there's splash of color cards like normal. Um, these have different, some splash of color lenticulars, which are cool. Tyler Hero Auto. So there's some, some really decent possibilities in this. Zazzy Beats, if someone hits that, I'll buy that from you. Or I'll, we'll work out a deal. Same with that. I'll figure out something to trade you for that. I don't. I can't afford to buy it. So there's decent, I mean, they're showing the best of the best stuff, of course. Um, but it doesn't mean that we won't hit those either. Just they're going to be pretty rare. Anyway, where were the lenticulars? Let me show that real quick and then we'll move on. Uh, it'd be under inserts, I think. So there's a uh, slow loris. Is that slow loris? Oh no, that's a sloth. Brown toad, specifically. That's what your uh, civic symbols, that's what those look like. Art of the Ages. We didn't pull an Art of the Ages last time, so. Anyway, there's your lenticular splash of color. And then there's some inserts, some like just uh, gouty inserts or whatever, so. Okay, let me, let's move on. Your kids share it, Chris? Should get them a separate one, then they can each have their own. Uh, did we have any trades? I don't see any any confirms. Please uh, throw out a confirm and let me know if there was a trade here. <clears throat> In the meantime, I'm going to start opening this up so that we can get going. We're 20 minutes behind. Most of that's my fault. I do. I blame you guys for a little bit. Tiny, 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 tiny little bit. Just going through that. Not really blame, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to put the keyboard over here, assuming that there's no trades. Um, who has parks? Daryl has parks. Is Daryl here? JT, was it you that wanted parks? I can't remember. Uh, I have no idea what the values of any of these are. I haven't looked any, any of that up. All I know is um, in some of the previous Goodwin stuff, I can tell you what the, the shuttle pieces go for. The shuttle relics. Because I buy, I have a bunch of them. Well, I have a few. I collect those. And there's one that I still want that Nick has that... I think Nick has it. Is it Nick? I think so. That uh, I still, man, I, I owe him some trade bait for that. i got to figure out what to trade for it. Uh, so, JT, if Daryl's not here, he may want to trade after the fact. You can still trade after the fact. It's just, you know, if you hit some real valuable map and he doesn't hit anything in whatever you have, uh, then he may not want to trade or whatever, but... I also have a map too, so if you can't work out a trade, I probably have an extra one here. We'll figure it out. Nick, Nick, Nick. I keep I owe you some trade bait. I gotta get I gotta find something that you want. I forgot how heavy this is. This card is has some weight to it. Definitive framed. Okay. Remind me, Nick. I'm on like a tight budget right now, and so I'm trying to sell some cards instead of trade. But I maybe I'll find something worthy of it. 
I want it badly enough, but to put it in perspective, like maybe not badly enough to get rid of that Keston here I have, even though that would probably be a better trade for me than for you, to be honest. But I do want it. I do want that shuttle piece. For those who don't know, we pulled a uh, 1 in 200 something thousand packs shuttle redemption piece that uh, I begrudgingly had to send to Nick. I opened this the wrong way again. I'm all pulling these out from the side. You're supposed to cut it right there and then it just pops open. I don't open these enough to remember that. Okay, we'll just start with the first box and dive right in. Uh, looks like we have no trades. I'll just complete the circle here and say trades closed since I said they were open. Okay, oh, I have one. Uh, we're running late. I won't do it. We'll leave it alone. Good luck, everyone. Uh, if anyone has questions about what's in your spot still, let me know. Like parks, maps, other. Other isn't really descriptive. It's just things related to that. I don't think we've ever had an other that came up. But, um, John, I hope you get a dragon because I want to buy it if you do. I was hoping someone would get like a rat terrier in the, in the dogs from 2018. I might try and find some more 2018. It's a cheaper break and still has lots of good stuff in it. But this is so potentially loaded. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single card. If anyone's kind of new to it and wants me to stop and uh, go through a pack and just show how the cards look, I'll do that. But It's Crystal Dunn Soccer. Goody Mini. This one's for me. I'm keeping this guy. Uh, I write your name on it and the things that you collect. And I put a little orange dot in the corner if I sent you one of these. Uh, I don't have one out. One of these chips. Well, the video is way lagged on my screen even. That's crazy. Another Crystal Dunn. All right. It has to be a hit, though. So if we pull a Crystal Dunn Auto or... Uh, relic or something there is more baseball in this one previously baseball meant you had to have essentially a Shoei Otani autograph it was that or nothing um, but that's not the case anymore in 2019 and 2020 Goodwin I think I can get for about 100 a box uh, which is in pre-sale right now these I think were more expensive there's a Luca for the basketball spot for Tim. That's cool. Uh, we'll I'm gonna set that in the sleeve pile because we'll sleeve that up. I'll probably top load it too. There's uh, Ali Krieger soccer. I love the splash of color. Yep, John always wants the, the uh, bowling cards. I should probably just start the break by saying that. Any other guesses? Kyle Troop? Uh, is Kyle Troop in 2019? I don't remember. He's all over 2018. That's funny. I said that before I, I mentioned it. Uh, I mean, before I read it. Uh, there's a different bowler. Anyway, I am kind of going through and showing every card because I'm getting sidetracked reading chat. I'll try not to do that so we can catch up a little bit. I know Ben's breaking tonight, Midwest Box Breaks. It is Wednesday night, which means Gypsy's on and uh, chatting. There's another nice basketball one, Michael Jordan. I just sold a whole bunch of Michael Jordan today from the 90s. Uh, nope. Michael Jordan goes in a sleeve pile too. Uh, who is this? Brian Ortega. MMA. Base mini. I like the uh, Sherbert colors in uh, 2019. It's a little bit more colorful than 2018. P. 
Peter Weber, I think he's all over this product. I think the hit's probably like right here, the second pack. I don't remember now. Sugar Ray Leonard, Wayne Gretzky. Yep, there's a lot of good stuff. A lot of good potential. And then there's John McCain. I think someone told me that I could throw away or burn in a fire all the John McCain cards. I don't think that whoever that was liked um, John McCain. There's football in this one too, Michael Gallup. George W. That would go under the politics. Crystal Dunn uh, Goody. Jessica E. Uh, I. I started to say Eve and realized it was an I and then say E. John McCain. I don't remember. Um, God, I don't remember if he was in this or not. So here's the thing to remember. If anyone goes and buys a, a box of this for yourself or a blaster, you can get blasters. Of any year of this, if you're looking for, uh, if you come across the map cards, that is um, Molly Quirem, media personality. So this one, I would fit under the celebrity section, I think. I think that's how I did it last time. Um, if it's very specifically like a well-known sportscaster who used to be an athlete or something it might go under that sport or something but I, I would say media uh, media or celebrity I mean George H.W. Bush mini that's a filler Holly Quirum so some of these will have uh, two different poses or whatever for their photos anyway what I was saying is if you open up a blaster and you get space relics contact me I'm on board to buy them usually usually I'm kind of budgeting right now so maybe not as much but usually I am there's Wayne Gretzky sleeve him up and uh, George HW full size and here's our first hit this is a world traveler map relic and it looks like Oh, it's Ukraine, Kiev, Ukraine. Sometimes it'll, if it's an older map, it'll, it'll uh, be hand numbered on the bottom. I think it's on the bottom. Anyway, some are rarer than others. If you look at the checklist I posted the link to above, uh, WT228, it'll tell you what level it's in, like level three or four or whatever. And then that level is, uh, that level is, will tell you how rare it is if it's you know one in 30 packs or one in 400 packs or one in 12,000 or whatever so these are 180s at least it's a it's a fit it's a barely snug fit so it's not too tight anyway congrats Daryl Daryl with the first hit uh, let's see So, for example, if you were if we we're playing the guessing game and you guessed like Kiev map, or even if you said Ukraine, I would have counted it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ben Simmons. Okay, I can't say this. I can't say it too loudly. Let me get the mic. I don't want my wife to hear me. I'm gonna wanna buy this from somebody. Who is this? This one goes to Andrew B. Space Shuttle Discovery Space Hab Module Stowage Assembly Unit. So this is a piece, it has a little kind of um, plexi window there. There's a piece from the Space Shuttle Discovery we hit another awesome space relic. Let me um let me get a screenshot of this real fast. Let 
Look at that one of one in the hits box at the top right. Pulled that the other night. Anyway, let's see here. So it reads, uh, no American space for oh, Congratulations. Wow, that's hard to read. I can read it better on my screen. You have received a trading card with a memorabilia certified to the Upper Deck Company as having been used in aviation. Okay, so it doesn't specifically say that it went to space, but I think we can do the math. I'm gonna contact you. I want to buy that. I'm just kidding. I would, I would trade for it though. Um, these, this is the one thing that I do know the pricing on. Hold on, it's junking. On my tombstone, it's gonna say he hates junk in in uh, debris in top loaders. Uh, this is probably, I don't know what this specific one goes for, but the shuttle pieces go for, the cheapest I've seen lately has been 20 bucks, which is amazing, amazing price for any of those. Um, and they go up to several hundred. I don't know what this one would go for, but this is a hell of a piece. Congrats. Wow. All right. Doing okay on the first two two hits out of three there's three hits in a box that took a while sorry I had to drool on it I, I drooled next to it not not directly on it Andrew when you're watching this you can look it's not dual, drooled directly on why is there another thick piece in here usually it's like two kind of solid hits and then a lenticular or a manufactured patch of some kind. Let's see what we have. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this card so I don't forget the base. We'll do the base first. Wright Brothers. That's cool. Michael Chang again. I think we pulled him a minute ago. Okay, so this isn't a monster, but it's still pretty cool. Civic symbols, New York. Excelsior, it says. So, uh, if you... Who has, who has civic symbols? They're kind of out of order. Uh, that's Bunk. So there you go, Bunk. New York. That's fitting, actually. Oh my gosh, come on. I'm going to run out of... Uh, I, I know I'm going to have another thick one. I need to grab some 180s. I'll do that right after I sleeve this up. For a second I got it. I was thinking, did we get like a hot box or something? We did have a box of, I think it was 2018. It was missing a hit. And I reached out to Upper Deck and they were like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll take care of it. And they sent me out something. And then I, you know, sent it along. The hit was, uh, I forget what it was, but I sent it to the person who would have gotten it in the break, of course. Let me grab another thing of 180s real fast. 130? Nope. There you are. Let's see. The good thing is I buy top loaders and such in bulk. Oh, and that reminds me, for those who don't know, I put in an order today for... 30,000 penny sleeves. Um, is it 30,000 30, 30, 30, penny sleeves? I don't know. I, it's three cases of penny sleeves, three cases of top loaders, and, um, and a case of graded card bags. So I don't have to wait anymore for those things. Because I, I ran out of graded card uh, bags, and I use them like crazy to send to people, to send cards to people. 
So I ran out, and I'm like, how am I going to ship? That's why I went to a card show today. So I ordered them in bulk. Some Mike McGill, uh, Gowdy. McGill's a name you know. Uh, that's under the skateboarding, which would be other sports. Skate Anything that is not a sport on the list, uh, or uh, let's put it this way. If there's a sport that's not specifically on the list, it falls under other sports. Coco Ho. Surfing, that's right. Andrew's not even watching. He, he hit probably the hit of the break. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if these if these are from different cases even. It could be the case that uh, they're from different cases. And we could have two monsters. Uh, Haley Deegan Racing. It's for the racing spot. Nice LeBron James. And Georgia Ellenwood Heptathlete. Which I think is uh, just in other sports. The uh, other sports section has traditionally been had the most cards. It's been the biggest shipping package. Um, it's split uh, out a little bit more this time, so it's a little less uneven. Jack Johnson, but it's still gonna have a lot of cards in it. Sean O'Malley, MMA. He does not look like an MMA fighter. I love those uh, splash of color though. There's a mini in there. Let's deal with that first. Coco Ho surfing mini. There's a, the other Coco Ho pose. Walter Ray, Will, Ray Williams, that's hard to say fast. Danielle Harris, that goes under Celebrity. Jack Johnson. She got out of jail. Was it for that outfit? Because that's pretty criminal. Just saying. Maybe just not my style. Uh, let's see. What do you have, Matt? Matt. I feel like sometimes you talk yourself into bad luck, Matt. But actually, your chances are really good. You'll probably get a lenticular. There's usually one out of these breaks. Uh, Kennedy. There's a nice Gretzky. That's, Ro that's just Robert Kennedy. No big deal, though. There. Gretzky, George H. W. Bush. Now, something to point out: I will sleeve up Wayne Gretzky, but not George H. W. Bush. If you feel differently, and they're your your cards coming to you, then just say so, and I will I'll make sure and sleeve up whatever you want. Um, Tiger Woods. So no one guessed New York Civic Symbols, Kiev uh, map, or the Space Shuttle. You guys are failing on the guesses today so far. I'm just giving you a hard time, man. Oops. Those are just comments. This is a uh, Lumberjacks. This is pr probably one of the better condition Lumberjacks. Usually they, they're like top stadium club, have a little bit of white showing on the edges. This one actually looks really good. Brian Ortega, MMA. These are, um, I think, about one per box on those. Just leave that now. That's for MMA for Anthony G. Boxing, soccer. Soccer is getting big right now. It's incredible to watch, like... So we just did a, a break of Chronicles, right? 
the boxes of Chronicles more than doubled in inside of two weeks, inside of a week and a half. They just went crazy. There's a couple of uh, basketball back-to-back. A few, actually, because there's Michael Jordan. These are actually decent. Michael Jordan's Splash of Color. I think I have a few of those still. Zazzy Beats. If we pull a Zazzy Beats autograph, I'm interested. It sucks to pull all three hits out of the first box and then not have a hit for several packs and know that we're not going to have one. There's another Victor. Buster Douglas. We've got a mini of DeAndre Ayton for the basketball spot. I'm going to buy, if we do a lot more uh, Goody or uh, anything like Allen and Ginter that have these minis, they make specific penny sleeves, like specifically sized penny sleeves and top loaders for these. And I'll have to buy some more. I probably have like two somewhere. Robert has all the knowledge. I know nothing about any of the fighters. I know who a couple of the names are to look out for this in this, but uh, there's a voice actor that goes under celebrity, although that may be debatable depending on who you ask. Jesse Har Jess Harnell. So Jess Harnell, his body of work, uh, goes blah, 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 blah. He's the son of a jazz composer. He released an album. What's he a voice actor for? Can they not say? I'll look it up on my own time. There's there's the Kennedy, the real Kennedy, John F. Again, depending on who you ask, I guess. Mike McGill. I keep putting cards in the wrong stack. These these uh packs are very fragile, like just barely touching it, I ripped it right there too. That's good, I guess. It makes them easier to get into. I don't like how the cards are shifted. There's No one's bent at the top. That Ryan Garcia is a little bent at the top. It's because they put these anti-theft cards in every single one. There's a Craig Kilborn com comedian mini. It's for the celebrity spot. Zazzy Beats. People would just not steal stuff. They wouldn't have to. Or these aren't anti-theft. These are anti-pack searching. So, you know, if people wouldn't do that junk. I'm so excited. I'm excited about that shuttle piece. I'm super excited to have all these because I needed more of them. It's kind of funny, huh? Tiger Woods. There's a LeBron splash of color. That's a good looking photo. Basketball spot's doing okay just with the splash of colors, even. All right, last pack, and then we're moving into box two. Two of two. There's a uh, Martina Hingis for the tennis spot. We have tennis in its own spot now. Andrew B. got that too. Serena Williams for the tennis spot. Ari Spears, comedian. Okay, that is... I'm going to move this stack. It's kind of tall. Move that over here so I don't drop that stack. This one's fine. This one's fine. Let's get in a box too. Am I forgetting anything? How about that sales thread? Have you guys checked out the sales thread today if you haven't go to uh mid at midwest box breaks sorry without the s at midwest box break on twitter there is a lot of uh deals sometimes people are throwing stuff up there that's not a great deal um but i put stuff up there i looked up comps last night and then i dropped my prices a couple dollars below comps and even then i let someone talk me 
couple dollars lower on a few uh, nice PSA 9s. So you never know what you can find. Some good deals there. All right. I don't know where the hits are. I, I don't want to pull out all the hits right away. I think they put all the hits in one corner of the box, which is dumb. I mean, maybe not dumb, but preferable to not do that, I would say. Sold one. I did fairly well today. I sold a Jordan lot. I sold some stuff to Craig before, uh, out of that Jordan lot before I created the lot. To finish them off so I got rid of all the Jordans out of that collection that I picked up uh, Lloyd Alqu Alquist Goody for uh, its musician entertainer so that's celebrity celebrity slash music section uh, where is it music slash celebrity for Chris C uh, anyway so all of them except for a few that I'm gonna send out for grading there's another Wayne Gretzky so, not too bad. Oh, hey, Rick. I did sell those Chris Bryant. Those were, I liked the Chris Bryant. I just, they're sitting in a box and I'm not enjoying them. So, uh, might as well get them to someone who will, right? So, this is for tennis, Michael Chang. Splash of color. And that's the way I feel about all my cards. I just wish, you know, all, all the ones that are my PC, I just wish I had the time to photograph and sell them and list them and look up comps and all of that stuff. Sometimes I find it's easier to just go on Twitter and say, all right, who do you PC? I'll go find some whatever I have of that person and price it out for you. Or if people trust me enough, I just say, all right, which ones are you interested in? And then I'll go price it. There's another Michael Chang mini. That's so much easier because otherwise I have to get the comps, put them up for sale, put them up at a good enough price so that they will actually sell that week. Because then if they don't, then I have to do the whole thing again because price card prices go up and down, you know. And then I have to do the whole thing again next week. And it's like sometimes it's not worth it for, you know, four dollar card or whatever buster douglas boxing spot mini boxing is with mma for anthony g craig kilborn steve caballero another uh, old skateboard reference so yeah i prefer if i can i just gotta sell them quick I'll, I'll throw a couple dollars off it. So anymore, I don't list something. Like, I would never list that Kestin Hira because there's... I'm never going to want to sell it for the price that people would want to pay for it. Which is a fair enough price. It's just... I want it more. Jennifer Love Hewitt Go Goody for the celebrity music spot. Yeah, it's just, for me too, the hard part is I could just take a super fast photo and then not worry about cropping out the, you know, extra boxes of stuff and whatever in the background. There's a Wayne Gretzky. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want to do a nice, a good photo. I want it to be clear so you can see what, what the card looks like and the edges and all that. Martina Hingis for the tennis spot. Nice splash of color. There's a Pawson. He's huge in baseball right now. Tiger Woods. Different Pawson. Yeah, that's another reason also why it's like you just gotta sometimes you gotta get rid of some of the cheaper cards, do them in a lot, and just be done. Uh, oh, that's nice. And just be done with it so that you're not dealing with, you know the small stuff and then you can focus on the bigger cards and sell those and uh, spend your time on them you know the cards that are like the Giannis I sold I sold that thing for 400 maybe if, if even that I don't know I, I gave a hell of a deal on it 
and I saw my exact card, same serial number, resold for a little over a thousand a few weeks ago. Uh, John F. Kennedy, this is a splash of color lenticular. You can kind of see the the 3D effect to it. That is for Matt. Why is there a code on the back? Hold on. There's something going on with this. Uh, I don't know if I can continue the break and someone wants to look this up. Look at the back here. There's a scratch off for some reason, and I don't know what that's about. There's something going on that I don't that I'm not aware of. So I don't know. I'm excited about it though. I'm probably getting excited for no reason. I don't want to get your hopes up, Matt. Don't get don't get too crazy. But for some reason, there's a, a scratch off or peel off. It's like a sticker. And I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a bounty? Is that the deal where you have to get like all 17 of them and then they give you $500 or, or an upper deck sticker from 1995? Not 95, they weren't around. From oh, yeah, they were. From 93. Anyway, okay, so maybe it's just the bounty. I got excited. I thought I suddenly was having visions of that um that JFK relic. Anyway, congrats Matt on the lenticular. Yeah, that that is a 3D lenticular. So in 2018, they were all like robot themed. 2019 I think they're all splash of color so like how we have um like these splash of color Martina Hingis right they'll have a I think a 3d lenticular of that so this one's a 3d lenticular of the JFK splash of color uh, and these also, just like the civic symbols and everything else, I should probably show you the numbers on these. They all have numbers that you can look up what level and how rare they are. MCA, SPD, that's the space shuttle one. That's going to fall out of the packaging into my collection somehow. USF-11 is the civic symbols one. USF for US flags, I guess. And then LS-JK is the JFK lenticular number. So you can look up, uh, if you scroll up to the checklist I posted early on, um, or just search for the Beckett checklist, Beckett has the rarity, or the uh, the pack odds, for each level of, um, of these inserts. Oh, we have an autograph. I'm not gonna look. Let me cover it up so I can't see it either. Kind of gave away the farm, gave gave up what was going on when I saw the space shuttle. I want to be surprised with you guys. All right, so this is going to be our second hit. Yeah, second hit for this box. It's a voice actor. So the voice actors go to the celebrity music celebrity to Chris C. It is on card, at least. Robert Paulson. Now I am going to have to look at what Robert Paulson has done. I let my keyboard fall asleep, and I use my keyboard to do screenshots. It's bad planning. I need to plug my keyboard in so it doesn't fall asleep. That's the only way to prevent that. Uh, okay. It doesn't say on this one. Uh, if we pulled up one of his other cards, it would say it. Because this has the certificate of authenticity. Oh, you get one of the new uh, top loaders that says rookie card on it. On the top. Anyway, congrats, Chris. Robert Paulson Auto. I have no idea what that goes for. Um, he's a voice actor, so 
not to be sound demeaning, but it's probably not going to be, say it's not going to be as much as a Michael Jordan auto, let's put it that way. Pollard, there's a Luca base. I think the basketball spot, if you sold off the base cards, you would do all right. There's our hit. I didn't even realize it. Um, so Ryan Garcia boxing, and then you have Ben Simmons for basketball. Okay, so this is Doug... Sa Martinez. I don't know who that is. Am I supposed to? He's a musician. It's a relic. Again, I'm looking on the back. It's not going to help me. Uh, yeah, so Doug Martinez. Oh, wait. So... Rob Paulson does the voices does voices on uh, Pinky in the Brain and Animaniacs and stuff. That's cool. Let's try a hundred. I never use the one hundreds. What a good fit. Excellent choice. Anyone know who Doug is? This one's Chris, too. The uh, celebrity spot's doing pretty well. I'd say the space spot did incredibly well today. Oh, 311. Okay. I thought 311 stuff was in here. I just couldn't remember what the band name was that I was thinking of. So those are our three hits that we're supposed to get. We've pulled four out of a box before. There's Michael Jordan and Serena Williams back to back and Wayne Gretzky. It's a nice pack. Wayne Gretzky Goody. I think my dog is listening to me and wants in now because he can hear me. Trying to get in, Jax? George H.W. I just dropped a card. These things fall out so easy. John McCain. So whoever that was from the previous break, there you go. I threw a John McCain card. I hope you're happy. Chang, Simmons. There you go. So if you... Uh, who is that? Chris? So Chris, if you give... Let's see if we can work this out. If you give Nick the 311 dual relic and Nick gives me that way lopsided trade of a um, space relic that he has and I give you um, this business card, will that work? Will it be a good trade? Let's talk that through. We'll figure it out. Haley Deegan Racing. But yeah, uh, Nick, if Chris doesn't reach out to you uh, or ask me how, then I will make sure you guys get in contact about that. JT, you'll have to talk to uh, Daryl. Daryl's in Discord about um, that map. Getting that map from him. Molly Quirum, media personality for a uh, Goody card. I was having a little, a uh, little quiet thought. I was like, "Wait, is that the same guy?" It looks like it's the same shirt almost. That's why I pause. I'm going to find something you'll want in trade. I, I just have to... I haven't spent the time to look. I just need to do it. I'll find it. There's a... The Lumberjack for that box. Wright Brothers. Wright Brothers Goody Lumberjack. 
I will put that in a top loader. Um, um, I just penny sleeve it right now so that it's edges don't get caught on anything. J Love Hewitt and LeBron James. You asked to be in here, buddy. You don't want to be in here now? You sure? We'll get you some thumbs and then you can open the door on your own. One sec, guys. Alright. You hear your brother going outside, huh? One sec. Sorry, finicky dog wants to do dog things, which usually involves making me let him in and then out within 30 seconds. Okay, so that's a nice Luca splash of color for the basketball spot. Another Serena Williams. For, for anyone who's uh, watched these breaks, whether ones that I'm doing or um, someone else breaking this goody of whatever years, what's the favorite thing that you've seen come out of these? I already know what my favorite is. There's a Brandon Boyd. Incubus, okay. It's hard to read, it's very small. It's a musician. Another LeBron card. JT didn't pull any animal kingdom in this. Georgia Ellenwood. That would be under other sports. Heptathlete. We have three, three packs left in this one. We're going to work on filling uh, the written word, the Leaf Ultimate Baseball, the High Tech, which is real close, as, as well as written word. And if we can swing it, these two hockey breaks... Hopefully we can have a full full night of breaking on Friday. There's Luca. I have to go Friday and get my new driver's license. You have to make an appointment like a month or two in advance right now to get that done. Georgia Ellenwood again. Uh, that has a mini on that one. In case you guys couldn't tell, I had to describe it. Yeah, thanks for joining, Robert. And for the knowledge, lots of good stuff I didn't know about there. Appreciate that. This is it Jordan? We're almost done, and then we're going to do a, a recap of just the uh, the hits real quick. There's O'Malley. Uh, Michael Gallup for uh, football. Where do we foot? Oh, I left football under other sports because I don't think there was a ton of them. So it didn't seem like it would be a very big spot on its own. All right, last one. I think what would be cool if if you pulled a, um, if there was someone in here that they had uh, a really nice card. Like, let's say, let's say you're a huge fan of Georgia Ellenwood, right? And you pull the full size and then the mini and then the uh, lumberjack version or whatever of this. It'd be pretty cool to get those in a little frame all together. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. There's a mini of Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky. Good looking mini. I have a Giannis uh, rookie mini from old Goodwin. Okay, so let me move this stack over. We'll do a quick recap. 
I'm going to go from what excites me the most, no, what excites me maybe the least in particular, to what excites me probably the most. And that's going to be different for you. You'll be more or less excited by different things, I guess, but uh, anyway. Okay. There's the uh, New York Civic Symbols. Or maybe not in that specific order, I guess, but... The World Traveler Map of Kiev. And you can see on there... Um, nope, nothing I recognize. I thought I was going to recognize something on that. I don't know why I thought that. The 3D Lenticular of Kennedy. With a bounty, I guess, on the back. So, if it has a bounty, that also means it's going to potentially increase the value for resale if you're going to resell it too. So that's worth noting, I guess. Uh, Doug Martinez Dual Memorabilia. Some are numbered. This one's not. I forgot to check when we were going through these. The uh, Rob Paulson Voice Actor Auto. Also not numbered. And then, obviously my favorite. If you guys know anything at all about me, this is it. Space Shuttle Discovery. I have three different. I have uh, a couple of pieces from the International Space Station, and then I have one other, and then I have some uh, astronaut relics and autographs as well. I love that stuff. Anyway, so uh, I'm going to take pictures of these and uh, throw them up in Discord and, and a couple of them up on Twitter as well. And then, as usual, send everything out. Over the weekend, I'll get everything ready to send out, and it'll be sent out next week. Um, so, once again, pick up a uh, pick up a combo spot. They're forty five dollars on the site, but it gets you into three different breaks. It gets you in a written word, which is two boxes. There's almost we've never opened one without a Ty Cobb in it, without at least one Ty Cobb. Um, it gets you in a, the two box random of high tech baseball. We almost always consistently pull amazing stuff out of that. Um, Leaf Ultimate, which we pulled six out of a out of a three box, we pulled six or seven just monster hits, um, including that, that one of one Adley, uh, a Bo Bichette, which was I think to 25. Vaughn, the Bichette might have been numbered differently. There was a Vaughn numbered to 25. Um, just a ton of good stuff. This one's four boxes. I expect more out of it. And then we also have this. If we don't have more spots of this sell in the next couple of days, I will open it up and just sell the hits out of it. And I will enjoy the hell out of it. So don't feel bad. Um, I'll refund the six spots that have sold before I do that. But I'd like. I'd rather I bought it to break it and share it with everyone. So hopefully we can do that. If if not, no hard feelings. I'll break it and. Uh, on my own, or I'll just buy the remaining spots for myself, I guess, would be a way to do it. If the people in the break currently trust me with that, then uh, I would do it that way. Uh, okay, so I'll get some photos up. Please do, uh, if you haven't already, I always say, please uh, like and subscribe, follow on Twitter, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll be back probably on Friday with more breaks, unless I have some massive mail day to show off between now and then. Thanks for joining, everyone. Uh, have a good night, and we'll see you soon in Discord or uh, Twitter or wherever else.